Hey there, it's Raj from 3CB. Welcome to this week's 3CB Quick Hits in which I summarize and synthesize the latest sports med and performance research. This week's paper is a clinical review that looked at three different compound hip extension exercises. The conventional deadlift, the hex bar deadlift, and a barbell hip thrust. And they utilized an EMG to figure out how each of those exercises impacted the bicep femoris, one of the main hamstrings, the glute max, and then also lumbar low back muscles. So the way they went about it is that they had trained lifters first do two sessions to acclimate to each of the exercises, and then each did a one rep max in a randomized order. And then based on that, they looked at how each activated those three muscles. So the results were that the conventional or traditional deadlift by far activated the biceps femoris, the hamstring, the most. The barbell hip thrust activated the glute max the most, and all three activated the low back muscles to the same extent. Further, the hex bar deadlift is also an effective piece of a program because it has overall good activation in the lower body, and it also activates and hits the low back. Now, quickly, my two cents on the hex bar deadlift. I personally prefer the hex bar deadlift for myself and for clients, especially for those who have a high training load or who are relatively new to lifting, just because it's a lot easier to learn and teach than a traditional deadlift. And it puts you in a better position so typically people can lift more with the hex bar deadlift compared to the traditional deadlift, which then mitigates some of the difference in activation.